Here's how to screen record on a Mac with audio for free. This will be the internal audio on your laptop, but I'll also show you how to add your microphone into the mix if you want to talk over it. In my other video, I already showed how to screen record on a Mac without the internal audio, so if you need to just do that, go ahead and click that link. Otherwise, let's get started. Now, the first step is to install an audio driver for free that will help us record the internal audio. Once you click the link in my description, you'll be taken to this black hole audio driver. Select Download Installer. It'll ask if you want to donate. If you can't afford it, simply click here. Type in your information, hit Send Link to Download, You'll get an email with a link, simply click on it to be brought to this download page. It says if you're unsure which to download, download Black Hole 2 channel, so we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and install the driver. Now that it's installed on your keyboard, hold the command key and press spacebar to search for audio MIDI setup. Here we're going to create two new devices. The first is the output of our internal audio and our microphone if we want to use that. And the other device will enable us to still be able to hear the internal audio while it's also recording. So to add the first device, press the plus in the bottom left hand corner, select create aggregate device. Now let's double click on the name and rename it screen recording input. Under audio device on the right side, we want to check black hole audio, two channels. And also, if you're planning to record with a microphone like this one, you want to go ahead and look for your audio device at the bottom. Mine is the Yeti X. And make sure that you are selecting the one that has a number under the in column, like this. But if you're not recording with a microphone, leave that unchecked. Now, you may have noticed that drift correction is checked here. This allows our devices, our microphone, and our computer to be in sync. If for some reason you notice your devices are out of sync, feel free to uncheck that. For the second device, simply press the plus button, go to create multi-output device. Let's double click to rename that one screen recording output. Now here your default audio device should already be checked. Mine is MacBook Pro speakers. We also want to check black hole two channel. The last thing to check on this page is to make sure your default output device is selected as primary device and that it's also listed at the top. If for some reason you notice that black hole is at the top and it looks like this, you want to make sure that your default audio device pops up to the top and that black hole is listed underneath. Now there's one final thing for us to enable before we screen record. We simply need to press command space again on our keyboard and go to system settings. Once there, select sound. Underneath output, simply select screen recording output. Now we're ready to screen record. Hold command, tap space, and let's open QuickTime Player. Now let's screen record. Whatever you're trying to record, make sure there. Then go to file at the top, new screen recording. Go down to options below. Select screen recording input. Choose how much of the screen you want to record. I'll record the whole screen. Press stop at the top when you're done. Here's how it sounds. What if a single Bible verse can unlock the if you can hear me, to super it's working. human abilities? Now when you're done, go back to your system settings where your sound is and then select your default audio device.